The Speaker's scheduled medical review will take him out of the jurisdiction for a number of days. As it occurred previously, it is expected that this may have an impact on proceedings. The Majority Chief Whip, Frank Anadon Press, says the development is worrying. I mean, I can't pretend about it. It's worrying and um, we have to put our heads together as, as a people or maybe leadership will have to uh, find a way of uh, helping the Speaker find a solution to this because um, it's becoming one too many often and we also need to get the balance. I mean, he's the speaker, and he's ill, he's taking ill, and he needs treatment. Is it the case that we can get an equally good uh, medical team to have this treatment done here? These are questions we need to ask vis-a-vis -vis the fact that um, because of the nature of our parliament now and because we have extremely important uh, national duties to be prosecuted. So one would have thought that we'll find an alternative. On the floor of the House, the Speaker handed an ultimatum to the Youth, Sports and Culture Committee to complete its consideration of the Black Stars' poor performance at the ongoing Africa Cup of Nations with a report to the House by end of February. Is it possible that you can present this report by the end of February. Honorable members, I proceed to direct that the Committee on Youth and Sports should present to this House a report on the results of their investigation on the poor performance of the blasters by the end of February next month. Members deliberated on the accommodation crisis on public university campuses across the country after a statement was made by New Edubiasi MP Abdul Salam Adams. There are many depressing stories of how students struggle to find accommodation in our various public universities in the country. The arrangements in some of our public universities are that after paying tuition, students are required to apply and secure accommodation online. So, Speaker, this, arra this arrangement does not often work for many students, especially those in rural areas. The so Speaker, to assess the online portals, one needs fast and reliable internet, which is a challenge in many parts of the country. Even for those in our urban areas, the reports are that rooms are usually unavailable by the time students get the notification to log on to the portals. So, the Speaker, the cost of accommodation on campus is too high for the average parent. The Minister for Finance earlier in the day was in a meeting with the ranking members of relevant committees of the minority caucus and the leadership of the minority over the implementation, of course, the passage of the electronic transfer levy. We are told by reliable sources within that meeting that it ended inconclusively and that the meeting will resume um, on Friday. Ahead of that, members of the minority have been whipped in line and told not to communicate further on the matter of the e-levy until there is some form of common ground, agreeable position among the parties within uh, Parliament on this region issue. Reporting for City News, my name is Chuk Ben Sonkoku.